the people who have gathered here at this memorial love her very much and that, uh, that she is missed. Now on the news at 11, Whiteland Community High School students are remembering their classmate after she drowned in the school swimming pool. Thanks for joining us. I'm Nicole Griffin. The district tells WRTV the 15 year old girl died Tuesday while swimming laps during PE class. Our Nico Panisi spoke to her emotional classmates. One of them was in the pool just moments before this incident happened. There is a growing memorial here outside of Whiteland Community High School. Flowers, photographs, Elena, we will miss you, written in chalk on the sidewalk. Dealing with death and grief, it's something some Whiteland Community High School students are doing for the first time. A 15-year-old girl died in the pool at the high school during physical education class on Tuesday. Evelyn Hamlin tells WRTV she was there in the water that morning. Sometimes I would look left, just look at the water or whatever, and yesterday I didn't. I, I didn't look, and um, sometimes I, I'm, I think that maybe I could have, something could have changed if I had saw her or something, if I had just looked to the left, but I didn't this time. Her name was Elena, and her family and friends describe her as sweet with a heart of gold. Evelyn remembers her as a friendly face. I can't think of a time where she wasn't nice to me, um, so I, I think I'll always, always appreciate that and always remember that. Superintendent Dr. Patrick Spray held a press conference Wednesday to give remarks on her death. This young lady was such a beautiful human who loved her family, her friends, her community, art, animals, and band. The Clark Pleasant Community School Corporation released these few details about the drowning. At around 11.45 a.m., Elena was swimming laps with the rest of the students. A lifeguard and instructor were present on the pool deck. At some point, she went under the water near the bulkhead that divides the pool. She was later removed from the water, and despite school staff and emergency responders' efforts, she died. The Johnson County Sheriff's Department is still gathering facts and information at this time. There's an intentionality to an investigation. And we want to make sure that we get all of the information and all of the facts so that we can get to the answers. The Johnson County coroner tells us it will take three weeks before the official cause of death is released. In Whiteland, Nico Panisi, WRTV.